Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. This time out, a new compressor pedal from API. Let's get started. API, of course, is well known for their studio equipment, preamps, EQs, compressor, mixing consoles, high-end equipment that you've heard millions of times on recordings. But now with the API Select Transformer CMP, we've got a compressor pedal from API that brings all that studio goodness to a pedal format. It's a pedal board friendly format, nice and compact, lightweight, has input, output jacks. It also has a power jack and can accept anywhere from 9 volts to 18 volts DC. When you bump the power up to say 18 volts DC, you get more headroom out of the pedal, so more clean headroom. If you're familiar with compressors, then the controls will be very familiar to you. If you're not, we'll take a quick tour here and explain what's going on on the top panel. So we've got an input control, and obviously that sets the input gain for the pedal. It also, the more you turn that up, the more you're gonna push the compressor as well, more into more compression. Sustain actually sets the amount of compression or how much you're pushing down the peaks or whatever parts of the signal that you're compressing. Blend allows us to blend the dry signal or the clean signal from the guitar with a compressed signal so you can get any balance you want between those two. And this allows you to maintain the dynamics and the articulation of the guitar while still compressing it for more sustain and for a fatter tone. And output, of course, sets our output level. When you compress the signal, you're pushing it down so typically you'll need to turn that output up a bit to make up for any gain you lose when you're using compression. Now we also have three switches here in the middle. The slow fast switch sets the attack time. When you have it set to slow, the compressor takes longer to ramp into action. And so in that case, your pick attack and transients are gonna get through. So you'll get a bit more of articulation when you're set on that slow setting. When it's set to fast, it's gonna react much faster to your incoming signal, and it's gonna clamp down on your pick attack as well, giving you a smoother sound. Release sets how long it takes for the compressor to let go of the signal after it drops below a certain point. So when the note's sustaining, it drops below a certain point, and the compressor will let go of it, it'll stop acting at that point. If you have it set for a fast attack, it'll release pretty much immediately when it crosses that threshold. The second setting is slow. This is a longer release time. Now, depending on the type of playing that you're doing, what type of articulations you have, how much notes are sustaining, if you're playing fast, if you're playing slow, sometimes a compressor can grab hold of different things and do what's called pumping and breathing, where you can hear it sort of grabbing a note and letting go of the note. By working with that release switch, you can find the proper setting for whatever style you're playing. The type switch takes a little bit of explaining. There are two settings, old and new. To understand what this switch is doing, we need to talk a little bit about compressors. With a compressor, there are two parts to it. There's the VCA, or Voltage Controlled Amplifier, and that's the part that actually pulls your signal down or controls the volume of it. The second part is the detector. What that looks for is a certain level of signal strength, and when the signal crosses that certain level, it's called the threshold, then it will tell the VCA to go into action and start compressing the signal. So it's called a detector. It looks at your incoming signal and tells the compressor to go into action. Now with old, you're actually set for feedback. What this means is that the signal comes in, goes through the VCA first, then it goes through the detector, which retroactively goes back and tells the VCA to compress the signal. Now, it might not seem like that had worked very well because the detector is actually after the compressor, but in this case it does. The electrons are flowing along there at a pretty good rate, and so there's really no time delay. But what it does do is give you a smoother sound. And this is the way that older studio compressors worked. For example, the 1176 is a very famous studio compressor and it used feedback compression. The SSL bus compressor that's so famous in the SSL consoles was also a feedback compressor. So it's a little bit older style and thus the old setting on the type switch. When we're in the new position, the compressor is actually operating in what's called feed forward. And in this case, the detector that determines when compression starts is in front of the compression circuit. So you get a faster response, you get a more immediate response out of the compressor when you use feed forward. And again, you can play with that switch to find the right setting for whatever style you're playing. The final control, of course, is bypass. This is a buffered pedal has very high input impedance, low output impedance, so it's gonna function well in a chain of pedals or for driving long cables. A key component is that we have an API transformer inside this box, and that transformer provides that beautiful API studio quality audio sound <laughs> that we all love so much on recordings and studio gear, and that's available inside this API select pedal as well. One of the great things about the CMP pedal is that it's very versatile, so we can set it up just to add sustain and to smooth things out. In this case, I'm in the old type. I've got a slow release, I've got a slow attack, so my pick attack is gonna get through, and then the signal's gonna clamp down after that. I've got quite a bit of sustain dialed in, a pretty high input, and I'm blending a little bit toward the wet side, so a little more compressed signal than dry signal. 
And here's what that sounds like. If I bypass the compressor, bring it back in. You can hear we're getting a bigger sound there and a ton of sustain. The notes just seem to go on forever. We just let it keep ringing. Now we could also set the attack to fast, set our type to new, turn up our blend so we have more of the wet signal. Let's bring the sustain down a little bit and our input down a little bit. And now we can get a little bit more into that funky kind of compression that we're all very familiar with. Where it's really grabbing hold of the signal and maintaining that dynamics. We can also use this for more of a chicken picking kind of thing. So it gives us a nice pop because it's grabbing hold of that transient and evening out the level of what's happening. It's a great tone. To give you an idea of just how much the compressor is doing with a sound like that. It's really bringing things to life. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the API Select Transformer CMP. It brings all that API studio goodness to a pedal format, that great compression technology, whether you're using old or new style compression, you got plenty of control over how you're setting the compressor up, and it does everything from adding sustain and thickening up your tone to giving you great chicken picking sounds. It's a wonderful compressor. I highly recommend checking it out. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this one, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.